Stunning was the word used by our judges to describe Semex's biodiversity work at its Rushley site in Staffordshire. Much of the quarried land site lies within the Cannock Chase Special Area of Conservation, which is one of the most extensive stretches of lowland heathland in the Midlands. The quality of the company's restoration is such that it is already difficult to see the join between the two. With more to come, it will, by 2032, have added over 200 hectares of this priority habitat. The work has involved removal of large areas of non-native trees and scrub, plus bracken control to enable regeneration from the seed bank. The judges also noted that Semex voluntarily decided not to quarry to the permitted depth to keep the heathland dry. The result is a rich species list, including nightjar, woodlark, tree pipit, adder and hybrid bilberry. While the company has done most of the work itself, it is now being advised by the RSPB. Semex have done a fantastic job so far. They've done everything that we would have expected to have done as a conservation organisation. They've taken all of the steps that we would have expected for a heath and restoration project. It's really starting to show the benefits of that now with the heath and, and all the, um, the associated wildlife that you get with the diverse heath and starting to come through and starting to really regain territory over what used to be um, a degenerating woodland site. There has also been enthusiastic help from local volunteers, like Rob Winstanley of the Friends of Cannock Chase in Clearing Scrubs. I was in a position where I could galvanise quite a lot of volunteers from the Friends of Cannock Chase, the local RSPB group, the local um, wildlife group um, and homeowners at the local caravan. Um, we were able to come, we spent a week here in February um, dragging and burning all the birch um, and all the people that came, you know, it was quite arduous, but you know, they're really looking forward to helping to create this in the, in the future. Semex, meanwhile, has made large donations to a Staffordshire Wildlife Trust volunteer centre nearby and to the Cannock Chase Visitor Centre. It adds up to a job well done, but with much more to come.